The Tech Nerdist channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to check us out on Patreon, pop over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-V-O-R-O-U-S. Here, we do our best to stay up to date on the latest and greatest in 3D printing and tech and keep you informed on the latest developments in these sectors. So, if you're interested in getting updates on 3D printing or technology such as programming, robotics, artificial intelligence, and things of that nature, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like on this video, and comment about what you'd like to see in the future because we make these videos for you. Hey folks, Technivers here. As you can see from my lovely mess here, we are still working on the Ender 3 dual extrusion process. Now, I ran into a little bit of a snag that we're going to have to take care of. Um, I thought that I had all the parts for this, and as you can see, we are using a Ramps 1.4 board, and this plugs into an Arduino Mega. So um, let's take a look real quick. If I remove the power supply here, plug it in. I hook everything back up. I took this apart because I have a problem with the Mega board, and I will show you what it is in just a second. It's very obvious once you know where to look. Um, but real quickly, let me show you that the, the ramps board and everything actually works here. So let's plug this guy in and you can see uh, that it is working. It's working fine. Now, um, the problem comes when I hook up to the power supply. So let's take the USB cable out. I do have this wired correctly and right now I am only using <coughs> the uh, main board power supply. I have tried this also with the bed power supply hooked up. It doesn't matter. Uh, it just does not turn on. So here's the power hooked up. Everything's plugged in. You can tell uh, from my little light here that'll turn on in a second that I'm getting power to the power supply. You can see the light just lit up that little green LED there, um, but nothing here. So I know what the problem is, and I will show you right now exactly what is going on here. It's kind of annoying, but uh, it is user error, basically. I, I hooked two wires in wrong and tried to turn it on and fried the voltage detector on the Mega. So, um, if you look really closely here, you'll see this. Uh, let's see if I can get it in the light. That little node right there, there's a little blob on it. Um, that's an obviously obvious indication of melting, okay? Um, I have an Uno. Now this this one isn't going to work because it doesn't have all the pinouts that I need, but if you take a look at that piece up there in the corner, um, that is what it should look like. And then here, you can get in frame here. It's hard to do while looking sideways here, so. Um, just kind of a quick comparison of those two and what they look like. This one is most obviously fried. Uh, kind of tilt it towards the light. There we go. You see the difference in those two components? The one on your left is completely smooth. The one on your right has a weird blobbing artifact and looks like it melted a little bit. Well, that's because it did melt a little bit. So we are, I already have another mega on order um this piece actually is pretty easy to replace uh but i don't have one on hand so i can't replace it uh and for the part and shipping it's honestly cheaper just to buy a new mega board so that's where we're at on that it's going to be a few weeks before that arrives so we're going to go ahead and set the ender 3 aside for now um while we wait for that part we will of course finish wiring up the ramps i will have a video on that and then when the other uh, Mega gets here, we'll be able to just drop and plug and play. But uh, we really can't test any of the uh, extra components such as the second extruder or anything like that without that board. So we're kind of in a holding pattern for now. Uh, we will have more on this beast. I'm very excited about this. I had one gentleman give me an idea. Um, he said about running a bracket between the two empty holes on the extruders and that is a very good possibility. I think what we're going to do is actually create a bracket that goes across all four holes um, in order to brace it a little bit better. We'll screw through the two that we're using to hold it to the plate, and then we will screw through 
the other two just to kind of hold it steady. And I'm not sure yet if those are gonna have a flange on the end to kind of hold that right angle. I think that would probably be the best bet, but there's gonna be a little bit fab on that part as well. So um, next time you see me doing the Ender 3, we should have that bracket ready to go and we should have our new Arduino Mega which will put us a few steps closer to our ultimate goal of turning this guy into a dual extruder. Now, it's important to note, this is the Melzi board, the Sanguino board, that came with the Ender 3. Um, and this board only has one power in, and it has one less connector. So um, I have an X, Y, a Z, and an E, but no second extruder. That's why I'm using the 1.4. If you look at this module, it actually has an extra extruder and extra end stops and, and things like that. So there are some bonus features on here that the standard Melty board does not have. Um, there is a silent board from Creelty that does have those extra connections. That board is about 40 bucks. This board is about eight. So um, you do the math. Uh, I, I do like Creelty stuff and I try to keep things original. And as I said, I'm using the hot end from the Creelty here. Uh, it will be a dual hot end, and they are both official Ender 3 hot ends. I really like that hot end style, and it works really well for me, so I plan to keep that. But uh, I'm not really overly sold on, on the boards um, as being a particularly great piece of hardware. From my experience, generally, um, it's how you use the equipment, not the equipment that you use. I've seen some amazing prints come off of crappy printers, and I've seen some crappy prints come off of really expensive printers. So a lot of it comes down to uh, usability and trial and error. So I'm not really too worried about not having an actual Ender 3 board in my Ender 3 anymore. Um, I am very excited to get the extruder on. While we're on the subject, before we close out this video, the wheel that I turned around the nut on the X gantry, um, is if, if you don't put the spacer in properly, it doesn't work. So the order looking from the front, you're gonna wanna do the bolt and the washer on the front side, and then you're gonna put that eccentric nut in through the back, and then the wheel, and then the bolt. So just keep that in mind. This is something I should have specified yesterday. So um, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. As soon as the Arduino Mega Board gets here, we will get to work again on finishing our dual extruder. I have an FL Sun Q5 Delta printer that's supposed to be here in a couple days. So uh, you'll see pictures of that up and around. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll probably get an early notification letting you know that I received the printer. And at that point, we will do an update for when the live unboxing and build will be. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I also got informed by Anet that they're sending me two more. They're going to send two ET4Xs, uh, which is very similar to the ET4, but with a little bit quieter motor. Um, some blue powder coat and a couple of other upgrades that we'll go over when those printers get here. So lots of printer reviews coming up, lots of upgrades coming up, I'm just kind of working away. If you haven't noticed my lovely Technivora shirt, these are available for sale on Teespring right now. I don't have a merch store available on YouTube because I don't have enough subscribers yet, but you can get the t-shirt. If you'd like to see what the back of it looks like here. Is I'll show you my extruder if you let me see your hot end. I thought that was kind of funny, a little bit perverted, maybe not safe for work, but I am very, very pleased with the way that the shirts came out, and you should get one. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you've ever had a problem with that Arduino Mega Board and that voltage detector, let me know how you solved it, if you just replaced the board or if you replaced the actual component. And I'm curious to see... Um, so I kind of know what happened. I don't want to get too far into this. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the ramps board here, you can see scoring, uh, scorching, excuse me, from that component. Now this rests right above that component. So at first I thought there was some sort of short going on here and that I was having issues, but it turns out it was the component below it. Um, this is actually unharmed. And in fact, this soot here is from the fire from below. It wasn't really a fire, just a, a, a short, I guess. Um, and it's kind of very common for that part to go out if you do something even slightly wrong with the wiring. So like I said, it was user error. It was my fault. Um, easy fix. Uh, and I got the wiring sorted out. We just need to wait on that part. So we will continue with this in the near future and I will see you soon. Thanks guys. Well, that's it guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, 
The merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.